is a nonprofit in San Diego whose only mission is to fund other nonprofits dedicated to helping people with intellectual developmental disabilities. Each year, the Foundation for Developmental Disabilities gives out around $300,000. CBS 8's Jenny Day was there for the most recent check presentation and shares how all of these organizations are working for our community. Boys and Girls Club. Whoop, whoop. Congratulations. So Nearly 70 grand being invested in five nonprofits that work with people with intellectual and developmental disabilities, including the Boys and Girls Club of Oceanside. This funding will really uh, support our Fit and Fun uh, program, which um, encourages our adults with disabilities to get active. The Foundation for Developmental Disabilities has been making a meaningful impact on San Diego since 1986. We really try to fund the smaller organizations. They're often involved for the long haul and get to see the growth their funding has supported. So we try to do family support, we try to do employment programs, we try to do housing programs, uh, just you know anything that we feel would really make a positive impact on this population. With the help of donations, they also provide emergency assistance for San Diego Regional Center clients. As we help them with their rent, we help them pay their bills, we help to avoid eviction, Another grant recipient today is New Village Arts in Carlsbad. Fulfillment, um, belonging, I think a lot of people find community and that's what it's about. The foundation recently provided them with funding to put on a play, Stella Luna. Now this next round of money will go toward a documentary showing how that play shaped their lives. We hired all actors with neurodiversity to be a part of that show and take it to the local schools and tour it. And one of my favorite favorite parts about that is hearing how other students there with special needs, with autism, got the chance to see themselves on stage and that really meant a lot to them. The foundation also paid for a chairlift for the pool at St. Madeline's Sophie Center. Physically it does a lot and also psychologically. And they will now cover the cost of lifeguards and training. We wanted to maintain our swim team, Special Olympics, and it just costs a lot more money than people think it does. Gigi's Playhouse is also getting money Money for their mission. Expand our tutoring program, our youth board, and their leadership initiatives. It's really going to make a difference in the lives of our participants with Down syndrome, their families, and of course the broader community. The nonprofit Adjoin plans to put the grant money toward their virtual learning platform. Allow people to grow their skills mm -hmm. in, you know, advocating for themselves and, and uh, you know, uh, becoming the people that they want to be. You can also get involved and make a difference by volunteering your time. Volunteer at the pool, our galleries, or we have a huge garden. So uh, just different. Uh, in the kitchen, we make lunch every day for everybody. The ushers for performances and things like that, also helping build sets. Working for our community, Jenny Day, CBS 8.